Okay, guys. Well, time to move to a different project in the uh, in the in the garage. Um, as you guys have seen the video that I posted a little while ago on the '99 Jeep Wrangler um, that we picked up out of uh, Colorado, um, it is getting a few upgrades. We have a bunch of plans for it, and uh, parts and stuff should be rolling in. You know, anytime we should be able to should be able to start ordering stuff anytime for it. Um, what's going on now with it? We have the fuel tank out. Um, the fuel pump went out, and that is literally the only way to get to the fuel pump and the regulator and, and all that good stuff. So that broke, and uh, Jeep didn't run for you know for a while, so it's not been running for about a week, a week and a half now. Um, here's everything uh, to it: the regulator and the pump, and you know the harness and everything, all that stuff. All that's going to have to be replaced. Unfortunately, it's not going to be any saving it. But uh, yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Um, it's always fun to start a new project. As you can see, the Jeep is pretty much, well, besides the wheels and the tires on it, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty stock. There's nothing done to it, but we have a bunch of plants planned on a 4-inch lift. Um, I don't know if you guys have any recommendations or opinions on what, you know, what uh, brand of lift to go with on these Jeeps. We've been looking at BDS and Pro Comp and uh, Rough Country, Skyjacker, all those places. Um, you know, zone off road, which is the BDS uh, general in general, but um, not quite sure what would be the best for this one. Uh, so, if you guys know of anything, it's going to be suspension lift, no body lift. Um, don't want to do any long arm lift on it, as it is going to be a daily driver. So, uh, got that planned for it. New fender flares are planned for it as well. Thinking about going with the flat uh, rock crawler fenders. Going to be putting it on 33 inch tires, keeping the same 15 inch wheel um, that it already has on it for right now. Uh, what else? Uh, planning on um, powder-coated black, I believe, uh, bumpers, front and front and front and back bumpers. Probably some kind of a stinger on the front one with an integrated winch and lights. Um, so yeah, this thing's gonna come together pretty nicely as soon as we get parts and everything you know ordered and started started for it. Um, hood needs replaced. The grill shell needs replaced. These things are metal, so they're not really common to find that you know that's that aren't real expensive so it's just got a bunch of dents and some it's really banged up um, as well as the hood uh, oops I knocked that light off but the hoods have got a bunch of you know deformities and dents and all sorts of weird things in it just from being I don't, I don't even know what happened there I guess trails or, or something but yeah that's gonna get replaced as well and pretty much as well as the whole fender pieces are going to be replaced. So a lot to come for this thing. Uh, we did replace, I replaced the mirrors on it not too long ago. So those are brand new. So those are looking good. But yeah, that's what's going on here in the Pro Show Custom Shop. Um, so hopefully some cool stuff you know, coming out for the, you know, for the Jeep here. Uh, truck staying the same. This Jeep staying the same. A little S10 staying the same, obviously. It's Dad's daily driver, but, uh, yeah. Oh, also, it appears that my little light bar has some moisture built up in it. Any uh, recommendations on how to get rid of that would be great. That's my first time dealing with a light bar. It's first time dealing with moisture in my lights at, you know, at all. So, um, how do you get that out? You know, how do you remove that... The lens. If I can remove the lens and clean it out, that'd be great. Is it just those little Allen head screws? Is that what it does? You know, that what takes it out? I don't know. I've never messed with it before. So, yeah, I will keep you all updated on the progress um, of this Jeep and everything else. So, keep a lookout for that. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, uh, suggestion for lift kit on this suspension lift, four inch suspension lift, um, new shocks, everything. I want everything to come with it. Um, so, yeah. Throw out there what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be seeing you.